All right, gentlemen, 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 order, 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 order. Back in this once again in Quantum Merowit, back in a new edition of the Lodge League of Distinguished Gentlemen Exclusive, where we're here to stay fresh dressed, to impress, never stressed and always blessed. You know how we do it on this side. So, gentlemen, today I want to take the time to cover one area of your style palette that seemingly gets overlooked most of the time that I see with most guys. OK, uh, I want to talk about accessories, accessorizing one's outfit or the style aesthetic or enhancements of the style aesthetic as it pertains to the clothing or the attire that you have chosen for an outing or for your daily grind or whatever it is that you do. Uh, th th this is a very, very interesting dynamic because accessorizing can either make or break an outfit based upon uh, the way that you deploy the specific type of accessory. Uh, we can give examples. Let's say those of the likes of a uh, bracelet there. Let, let's start there. Let's talk about like bracelets. Okay. Um, they're, they're, you know, a bracelet can come in many different shapes, sizes, forms, materials, etc., etc. Uh, you can wear these types of things with certain types of outfits. I, you know, it, it, it does work. I've seen leather bracelets. I've seen the, uh, watch band style bracelets. I've seen different types of bracelets that look like uh high-end jewelry uh, you know like gold platinum stuff like that you know i would say in a general sense if you were looking to accessorize let's say for instance let's start at the top of the ladder let's say a suit you generally don't want to over accessorize with a suit as it pertains to bracelets and things like that it will detract from the style of the suit specifically if it's a uh, certain type of function that you're attending. So if you're going to a formal event, you want to accessorize least. Okay, you want the least amount of accessories as it pertains to like necklaces and earrings and rings and uh, bracelets and things like that. Watch is probably the only thing that you can literally get away with with a formal uh, get up. If you're going to something where there's a black tie event, something like that, where there's a tuxedo or something to that degree or another, you definitely have to avoid over accessorizing. OK, it will really, really ruin everything. And you'll get looked at with some strange looks because host of events, uh, host or hostesses of events like that, they they actually prefer a clean aesthetic. They don't want all of the tacky uh, overload of accessories okay that will really really turn people off and it will get you looks but not in a positive way okay uh step down one little step to that a business suit you still can't over accessorize think about it if you went to court and you had an attorney there representing you and he had a bunch of leather and gold bracelets on in court uh, he is definitely going to look severely misplaced. OK, <laughs> that's not going to set the precedent in the eyes of the court and look at the type of environment that you're in. You wouldn't probably want your attorney to look that way and you probably wouldn't hire an attorney that would dress that way. OK, that's not going to cut it. All right. So in business meetings, you can accessorize to a degree, but lightly. OK, if it's a business meeting, if you had some type of bracelet, you could pull it off, but it can't be uh, it, it can't be overbearing. Okay, It's got to have a certain uh, length with it. It's got to be one of those situations to where you're not trying to try. It has to basically fit and it has to go with the overall aesthetic to every degree that the outfit demands so you definitely can't uh, over accessorize even in a business suit you could probably get away with a bracelet now let's move on to something else with an accessory with a suit that would probably work very well like you got your different pins your uh, lapel pins they work very well you can get away with lapel pins you might can wear one ring but you definitely don't want to wear like five rings on each finger or, or uh, let's say eight rings on each finger and two on each thumb or one on each thumb for two thumbs what will happen there is you look like a rock band star or something with a suit on that would just really ruin everything okay maybe a wedding band at, at most maybe a promise ring of some type of degree or something like that if you have it 
but that's as far as you're going to go with accessorizing rings uh lapel pins definitely like i said work very well uh collar bars they tend to work if you really are into those or tie bars work very well uh if you're into those uh most guys see those as kind of dated but you can still pull off a good tie bar if you know how to rock it you got you have the right uh design of the tie bar or something like that it fits very cleanly on the tie uh cufflinks okay that's a big one now cufflinks in my opinion are the killer those are the ones that work the best i'm a big cufflink guy i love cufflinks because you have to have the french cuff shirts in order to make the cufflinks pop okay but you do have to buy the right type of cufflinks okay make no mistake about it you get some big weird cufflinks with colors all on them that really are just contrasting the suit it's going to make your outfit look horrible i'll tell you that right now just refrain from wearing big gaudy cufflinks okay get the cufflinks that are, have a real nice touch to them uh get the ones that have a uh, that will catch the eye uh something with some sparkle on it would probably work light sparkle light light sparkle don't get some of these cubic zirconia nine by nine square <laughs> on the uh on the on the cufflink and put that on there you you don't want that type of attention with your cufflink you want something uh a high gloss stainless steel or something like that something that just catches the eye uh from a variety of periphery okay you want something to that degree cufflinks really do work they really do jump out and attack the various areas of uh being noticeable okay that's what i like about cufflinks so cufflinks do work uh french cuff shirts are the way to go with cufflinks as you all know so those actually do uh come in extremely handy when you're wearing a uh nice suit okay now we can jump to something like the pocket square okay now pocket squares are really nice i've seen some of those weird now here's the thing with pocket squares you have to be very careful with these things because they have different shapes, sizes, colors, different types of designs and all that stuff. There's a guy in the mall that I know that actually makes his own pocket squares and sells them. And it's kind of got this multicolored woven fabric that you can actually twist it in different ways that it actually looks good with pretty much any suit. It's got all the color wheel on there. It's beautiful. Okay. And I actually bought one from him and it actually looks extremely, extremely nice. Um, but you want to avoid those pre-cut pocket squares. I mean, don't ever buy those, guys. Don't don't get caught dead with the ones that you go and <laughs> you'll see them in, in the in the suit stores and stuff like that, where they have a piece of cardboard or something on the bottom, and then they'll just cut the cardboard to just basically stand in the pocket, and then the top piece of the the top quarter of the pocket square is like a little. It looks like a like a set of spikes or something. It looks like a Bart Simpson's hair <laughs> on the top of it. And it just basically sits right above the pocket line. So, you know, you can't really see what's below the pocket line because that's where the cardboard sits and it stands in the pocket uh, like a quarterback. <laughs> oh, good reference there. Uh, but anyway, it stands there and basically that Bart Simpson haircut looking thing sits out of the pocket and it looks cheap, man. Uh, that, if you're going to go with a pocket square, guys, make sure you get a real pocket square and learn how to fold these things. OK, I'm going to do a tutorial on this, how to fold a pocket square, you know, how to tie a tie up uh, effectively and efficiently. So it works very well. How to wear your cufflinks. We're going to do some stuff like that coming up. OK, we're going to we're going to throw on some suits and show you guys how to style the uh, the accessory and how to accessorize specific clothing. OK, uh, I'm a big color guy, but I like to off play my colors, uh, specifically when it comes to pocket squares or socks, things like that. But as it as a matter of accessories, you can call your belt an accessory, but they're 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 a huge uh, consortium of guys that don't believe that you have to wear a belt. I actually agree with that. There are some different ways to uh, uh, wear your shirt where they don't come out. They have these different uh, garter type of systems where they connect to your socks uh, through your uh, trousers or whatever. And they clip to the 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 the, uh, the tail and the seat of your uh, shirt. So that way you don't have to wear a belt. It actually keeps your pants tucked in. I mean, I'm sorry. It keeps your shirt tucked into your pants. I said it backwards. But um 
that actually does work very well. There are different types of designs of these things. Depends upon where you buy it and who you buy these things from. But there are certain gadgets that actually fit the dynamic appropriately. Okay, and it's very efficient as well. So you have to understand that wearing uh, certain accessories when it comes to these types of things will accentuate the outfit. It won't detract from it if you do it right. You do not want to get a bunch of wild uh, designs and stuff like that because you want attention, but you want it for the right reason and not the wrong. OK, um, so a good pocket square works very well uh, when it's actually a natural pocket square, one that's actually made to be a pocket square, not that half cardboard, half Bart Simpson head type of thing. OK, now uh, with a belt, if you guys are going to wear a belt, make sure it matches your shoes. OK, that's one thing. And your watch. Okay, so if you're going with a leather belt, brown leather belt, make sure if you wear a watch, it's got a brown leather straps on your watch and your shoes are brown leather. Okay, do not wear a uh, blue belt, uh, blue shoe, uh, red shoes and, and, and a green watch strap unless you're wearing Gucci or something. That's the only way you'll probably get away with something like that. Okay, so if you have on green and red shoes or belt, you can wear a, a, a green or red uh, Gucci a watch strap, something like that. And you can go with one solid color for a tie, like a green tie or a red tie or something like that. There are ways to make that work, but you don't want to wear too much red and green or you look like you're looking for uh, the dimension and the opening door to the time uh, travel capsule to get back to Christmas time or something. Too much red or green or too much red and gold and those Christmas colors will make you look like that. And then you'll look like uh, the Grinch who stole Christmas. OK, you'll be wearing that red top and he's you'll be green and you won't look right. So uh, just be very careful with overdoing uh, the colors. OK, you can do the colors. If you do them, just know how to style the colors uh, like, you know, you don't want to wear a solid red shirt and solid green pants and solid blue shoes and stuff like that. OK, so when you're wearing uh, any type of accessory you want to go lighter with the color in terms of not as far as the, the shade or the or the hue what i'm referring to is the uh amount of color that you're wearing so lighten up the amount of the color so a the, let's say a shirt with a single color in it somewhere works better than a solid color shirt okay especially if you're going to go with different accents with accessories so if you're going to accessorize with belts and things like that be very careful because they have a lot of these belts out here uh hermes belts and the fendi belts and the gucci belts uh th these things get very colorful okay and with the wrong pair of shoes or the wrong shirt or something like that you will completely destroy the belt it won't even be it would be fruitless to wear it at that point so and and it depends on the style of the belt like are you are you wearing like a street uh belt like a street oriented type of belt for jeans blue jeans things like that uh or are you talking about a dress belt for like suits and dress slacks okay so they make different kinds of belts for different uh designers for different style aesthetics of what you're wearing so you can have a gucci belt that's one that's for uh jeans like i said and then one for a suit or trousers if you're going to wear it okay all right. So and then lastly, I want to move up the, to the neck, uh, wearing necklaces and chains and things like that. Not with a suit, guys. Don't 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 ever be one of those guys that would wear a suit with a necklace on or a chain. That That's just tacky as all outdoors. OK, you like you'll be more tackier than your second uh, your second grade school teacher with all the thumbtacks on the board over there. That don't don't go with the tax, guys. Please don't do the tacky stuff with all of it. We call it the tax. Don't go with the tax when you're wearing all these chains with a suit. It looks terrible. OK, no necklaces with a suit, gentlemen. Matter of fact, when you're wearing any dress clothes, do just delete the necklace all outdoors. Just get rid of the necklace. You're pushing it with a with a bracelet. OK, with, with something like that. You're, you're pushing it. You can make it work and it can be nice if you do it right. But you're pushing it with a bracelet. OK, a watch is probably the max you want to do. But when you start going into necklaces and stuff that you'd wear with street clothes, like a like a you know pair of uh, blue jeans, a t-shirt, and some Jordans or something like that, you can get away with a necklace or a chain. Or you know if you're just one of those dressed down dudes, something like that, you can get away with a chain. But definitely not with a dress attire or business casual attire. You just want to delete the necklace, okay? Because you you're not supposed to even see it. Uh, because of course it's formal wear or more a uh, more formal wear, not completely formal in most cases, but sometimes it's more formal. Avoid that at all costs, gentlemen. So now earrings, okay? Uh, anytime you're wearing earrings with any type of 
casual, I'm sorry, business casual or business dress, uh, fine dress, formal, delete the earrings, guys. I know you guys are stylish and you think you're cool and all this stuff. No earrings when you're wearing stuff like that, okay? Uh, you don't want to go anywhere with earrings when, when you're wearing nice gear. Now, if you dress down, like I said, if you dress down, if you got some blue jeans on, sneakers, something like that, yeah, you can go ahead and knock out uh, the earrings. It'll be fine, okay? But don't 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 walk around with earrings in if you got on dress clothes. It just it just really looks weird. OK, that's a, that's a, that's a big, big no, no. OK, so all in all, OK, we'll get into uh, the color palettes and things like that on one of my next videos. Right now, I wanted to talk a little bit about the accessories, stuff like that. Uh, and just know, guys, all of this stuff is possible if done accurately, adequately. OK, you can possibly make uh, accessories work for uh, even dress clothes, but it has to be the right type of accessory, like lapel pins and things like that. You can't go overboard with chains and necklaces and big, big, uh, uh, crazy bracelets and a thousand rings, stuff like that, okay? We wanna just avoid stuff like that at all costs. All right, so guys, that's just a little, no that's just a little uh, nod to understanding perfection or looking to perfect one style aesthetic with certain types of gear that you're gonna wear. And I'm not going to keep you much longer than this, guys. Again, this was another edition of The Lodge, League of Distinguished Gentlemen. Do me a favor, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Leave me some information on what we can do to improve this series. Because I'm going to keep dropping these. Because it is a much, much needed series. <laughs> guys, I'm not, I'm not trying to diss anyone out there. But we need it, guys. Okay? I see you guys out there. We need it. So please take the time to share this video, like, share, comment down below, like I said a second ago. And, you know, let's get on it, guys. Again, I appreciate you guys listening. I appreciate you tuning in and uh, considering what I've dropped today. Uh, so, guys, keep your eyes open for the next round of these because they're coming hot. All right. Appreciate you listening, guys. Peace.